Broadcasting from Studio 300 on Cal Poly's campus, you're watching Mustang News. Good morning, Mustangs, and welcome to this special homecoming edition of Mustang News. Today is Thursday, November 14th. I'm Olivia DiGennaro, and Mustang News starts now. A century-old tradition returns to Cal Poly this weekend. Taylor Phillips shows us the history of homecoming. This weekend, Cal Poly celebrates an age-old tradition that dates back over 100 years, homecoming. It started out as a reunion opportunity, bringing alumni back to their alma mater. Over time, events such as banquets, the football game, and a homecoming court were added to the tradition. In the early 2000s, the tradition began to fade away, and by 2004, it disappeared altogether. But in 2010, some poly reps became inspired to bring the tradition back. After I talked to our advisors, she brought out some old binders and we saw the photos and there used to be this court and all these uh, crazy things and so that sounded really cool. For three years now, Poly Reps has been working to make the homecoming court tradition grow. As of right now, it is just trying to gain popularity as we have a royal court, we really want people to come out and watch the king and queen get selected. As the tradition continues, its main goal is to bring alumni and current students together. Uh, we really wanted to get the alumni to interact with the students again. I'm Taylor Phillips, Mustang News. Current students are welcome to buy tickets to come to the alumni barbecue. Saturday is a big day for Cal Poly football, homecoming traditions aside. The Mustangs will take on Eastern Washington. The Eagles are on top of the Big Sky Conference and the best, third best rather FCS team in the country. Cal Poly will look to its secondary and corner Bijan Samudi to stifle Eastern Washington's high-powered passing attack. He is a senior and can cover receivers better than anyone in the conference according to defensive coordinator Josh Brown. Samudi has become a master at taking on wide receivers and shutting them down. And just a testament to my coaches and my teammates. I mean, I just do my job. I listen to what my coaches tell me and how they critique me. And our scout players do a great job of giving us a good show. To learn more about Samudi's plan to stop the Eagles and whether or not opera singing is one of his hobbies, go to mustangnews.net. Sullivan Gross is another leader among men on the Cal Poly football team, and this Saturday he will try to make history. With 20 career sacks, the defensive tackle is sixth, sixth all-time at Cal Poly, and at 32 consecutive career starts, he is just three games short of 10th on the all-time list. But he says he puts being one of the three team captains first. I'm someone who's always tried to stay humble, and I think that's the best way to approach my successes. And the best way to do that is is just lead by example and and hopefully those follow you know be the best i can and hopefully um, show what it takes to win you can go to mustangnews.net for an in-depth look at gross's career and legacy at cal poly the homecoming football game is saturday night and homecoming royalty will be announced during the halftime show here's a little bit about each of your nominees the College of Science and Math is being represented by Prince Kale Reed. Kale is from Wisconsin, but says he is very happy to be living in California. He loves being a Mustang and says he'd like to represent Cal Poly as homecoming king. Kale is a part of ASI student government, Poly Reps, and he is a College of Science and Math ambassador. Kale's princess is senior Maura Andrews. Maura is a double majoring in microbiology and biological sciences. She loves Cal Poly because of the learn by doing opportunity she has had during her time here. The homecoming prince nominee from the Orfala College of Business is third year business major Brian Henson. Brian is the president of the Financial Management Association. Well, I was humbled and flattered. Obviously, it's nice to know that people within the college you know want you to represent them um, that was definitely something that was really special to me I the homecoming princess nominee from the college of business is fourth year business major caitlin price price is on the board of the cal poly accounting club i've jump roped with pig intestines yeah so um it was for extra credit and it was in eighth grade so i don't know it's was, it was really fun um for the College of Agriculture, the prince is Christian Alexander. Three of his siblings go to Cal Poly, and so did his parents. Christian was born and raised on a dairy and claims to be really good at farm animal sounds. He plays on the rugby team, and he says he loves Cal Poly because of the passionate people that live in San Luis Obispo. He says his personal passions are cows, 
chickens, and people. Agriculture's Princess's Dairy Science major Taylor Pyers. Taylor is on the ASI Board of Directors and works for the Brock Center for Agricultural Communication. She also helps produce the Cal Poly Ag Circle magazine. Taylor says she enjoys it because she gets to share the story of agriculture with her peers. The homecoming Prince nominee from the College of Architecture is second year Jackson Sheridan. Jack Jackson is the CAED Student Council Event Coordinator. In the Harry Potter Club and I was the head of Hufflepuff House, so that's kind of a, that's, that, that's pretty much like my defining role as a human being on this planet, really. <laughs> the homecoming princess nominee from the College of Architecture is third year Cynthia Ayala. She volunteers for ASI. At first it felt like a dream, like I couldn't believe it, so it's still hard to believe, but it's really exciting, especially because I want to represent my college, especially right now because we're the number one school of architecture in the United States. Robbie Potter is nominated by the College of Engineering for Homecoming Prince. Potter is a mechanical engineering junior and a member of the Engineering Student Council. He was homecoming king for his senior class in high school. Carolyn Honeycutt is nominated for Homecoming Princess by the College of Engineering. She is a mechanical engineering sophomore with a passion for cars. Honeycutt says that being nominated for Homecoming Princess has been a dream since high school. It's pretty special, actually. I was never the person in high school that would have been on homecoming court, but it's something that secretly as a girl you always kind of want to do. And then getting it here, it's, I feel like it's a little bit cooler because it's more academic based, I guess. So, yeah. Eli Williams is nominated by the College of Liberal Arts. Williams is an English major from Morro Bay. He is co-president of the College of Liberal Arts Ambassadors. Williams was also a member of Cal Poly's National Residence Hall Honorary Organization that recognizes the top 1% of on-campus leaders. This year's College of Liberal Arts Princess is Laura Nealon. The history majors is the other co-president of the CLA Ambassadors. Nealon is also a member of Phi Alpha Theta and co-editor of the Forum. She also works in the CLA Advising Center and loves to make homemade pizza. The homecoming court is chosen through a complex selection process. Each college has a unique way of nominating one guy and girl. But there's another step to be crowned king and queen. They then go through an interview with a panel of individuals that my committee and I have like selected. And that from that interview, we pick our king and our queen. Um, they will then be announced at the football game on Saturday in front of everyone. So actually, I am the only person right now who knows who King and Queen are aside from my advisor, which is really exciting. Albiani says Polyreps hopes to have students choose the homecoming court by an election in the future. You can see who wins during halftime at Saturday's game. Homecoming weekend kicks off with an alumni awards presentation on Friday evening. That starts at 5.30 in Shumash Auditorium. Saturday's festivities start with a tailgate barbecue at 10 a.m. on Saturday. The annual Mustang Corral tailgate offers Santa Maria-style food on O'Neill Green. The big homecoming football game versus Eastern Washington starts at 12.40 after the tailgate. You can get tickets for all of those events at tickets.calpoly.edu. Thanks for watching today's special homecoming edition of Mustang News. You can tune into our weekly half hour broadcast that's on Charter Channel 19, UHTV ch Channel 7, and Campus Channel 2. You can also find constant broadcast coverage on mustangnews.net and be sure to pick up our homecoming print edition on stands today. Have a wonderful day, Cal Poly.